Are you, did someone really like in a dream shake you up a little bit? This is interesting. I like this. I feel like this is a dream reading. Let's tap into it though. I feel like something that you know has you shook. A card never came from my head like that. Like what? Flipping over in my hand, see it? The lover's card with the king of cups. There you go. Oh, excuse me, the emperor card. The king of cups and the emperor card. Okay, female Scorpios. I think a boss is about to choose you. Ooh. All right, play it on the set. You want to take care of the elders? You want to have your partner right there? Y'all want to have these luxurious robes? These expensive dogs that you could feed? Do you want to say yes to happiness? This is the card that represents all the fixed signs. So there's Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy in the world card. This second reading is a vibe. 19, 28, 10, 12, 20. Oh yeah, it's a vibe, it's all. I just drew a two on the screen. It's empathetic, it feels good. It allows you to, okay, you saying yes to what makes you happy, Scorpio, allows you to tap into your empathy. And when you tap into your empathy here on earth, you're an ultimate navigator. Speed. Sound production, take one. Scorpio, what's up? I hope you appreciate the fact that I left up the last Scorpio reading that I put up like a year ago. Considering the fact that your ruling planet, Pluto, stays in each sign for so long. <laughs> in fact, Pluto's been in Capricorn since 2008. So Scorpio, you'll feel some relief as it pertains to ooh, your communication systems because Pluto has been sitting in your house of your tight-knit community, your communication with your siblings, not your friends, but like those friends that become siblings, uh, maybe relationships with your cousins, but overall, it's how you've been interacting with Mercury, the planet of skills, using your hands, typing, writing, again, the communication systems. So you'll find some relief there. Man, these cards are trying to flip out, but I'm gonna give them a second. Shuffle them real good for you. Let's see what pops out, Scorpio. I trust the communication will be clear and useful to you. It's the low five vibes. Let's tap in. First card out, your card, heard you, Ghost Tarot, the Tower card. Things are changing. They're absolutely changing for you. And of course, because your planet is moving, officially moving, ooh, the Justice card, let's go. Officially moving out of Capricorn this October. This card came out, the Ghost Tarot card. Set to the side. Ooh, the Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Taurus energy on the table. The High Priestess energy, Pisces energy, Libra energy, and Scorpio energy. All right, 21 questions coming on. There's the three, 311 on the clock, but the three for communications, let's get into it. With that five energy with 311, big change coming out. The first change I see is like, however you, this Hierophant card, five energy here. Ooh, with the two of cups right underneath. Okay, so however you structure your concept of 
love, but self-love, like your reflection of yourself and others, which is really how you love yourself. You're going to get some karmatic relief. So whatever you've created is going to create a bit of relief. That's really what I want to say. As long as you, seven of pentacles, six of pentacles, are acknowledging the lessons that you've learned about yourself. And the high priestess, I feel like you could have somehow tapped into your Akashic records, like maybe through a dream, or maybe someone offered you words of wisdom. Maybe a high priestess actually approached you and gave you this wisdom. Could be from this reading, but Scorpio, you're super powerful. So I'm not going to reduce you to the fact that you have to get it from someone else. I genuinely think with that Pisces card, you could have slept on something and you're like, wow. It is in fact my own tower, Scorpio energy. I have to create collapse within myself in order to experience what's just. And then I have to acknowledge through the life that I've lived, through the experiences, through what I've created, the seeds that I've planted. And there's the scales right there. See it? Right there. With the Six of Pentacles, that I have to be fair to myself. I cannot ignore what I already know. Whoa, High Priestess energy about myself. The High Priestess almost came for me. Scorpio, did a High Priestess have to <laughs> slap you up? Are you, did someone really like in a dream shake you up a little bit? This is interesting. I like this. I feel like this is a dream reading. Let's tap into it though. I feel like something that you know has you shook. A card never came from my head like that. Like what? Flipping over in my hand, see it? The lover's card with the king of cups. There you go. Oh, excuse me, the emperor card. The king of cups and the emperor card. Okay, female Scorpios. I think a boss is about to choose you. Ooh. Ooh, with the magician, the page of wands, and the five of pentacles, the five of swords. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna keep talking to the females for a second. All right, female Scorpios, I feel like a boss is gonna like choose you, but in order for him to choose you, you have to sort of like give up your financial independence maybe with that five of tentacles. Like he's gonna want you to need him. He's going to want you to rely on him, but he's the emperor, so you can feel safe. Like, he has enough to be able to afford you. Let me clear that up, right? This is this is your karmic doing. I almost felt a little stress in my brows just thinking about it. I almost hit one of those. Now, for a man, I feel like it's the opposite. Like, if you choose this woman, right, with the emperor right next to the magician card, Gemini energy on the table, you can't play with her mind. And in an effort for you not to be able to play with her mind, she's going to make you invest that bread off rip. But I feel like <clears throat> a part of you sees that as defeat. 813, when I said that, 8, 9, 3, 12, and that's the communication again. A part, like the fives are out. There's three fives on the table. The Hierophant, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. 
and it causes you a bit of anxiety with the two of wands right here and you're not really sure if you should move forward or choose a different path perhaps one where you feel like i'm gonna split the deck six of cups it could be like returning to a past lover where you know like you have full control and this is for male or female you don't have to really sacrifice your freedom in order to invest in this but i don't really want to say freedom i really want to say your single life you may have an old lover i'm gonna pull this out to clarify the six of cups that doesn't force you into any sort of growth where you would have to look at the reflection of yourself and structure this with that Taurus energy and plant seeds and grow a healthy relationship under spirit. Scorpio, I'm trying to say you got your single energy on the table. And it could be, so say you're a Scorpio that's been in partnership for years like a married Scorpio, right? So you're like, oh, I already have a partner. I'm not necessarily coming to that reading, the reading for this. But I feel like you can be questioning whether or not you should be single. Like, is it your justice to end this structured relationship? And that causes you to experience the five of pentacles where you have to become financially independent and that hurts your ego where you're like, oh, like, I'm comfortable right here. Clarifying, yeah, the six of cups, you have the seven of wands. I feel like you already have like the rules established in this sort of like older relationship, but I feel like it's dead. <laughs> I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you a short little anecdote. Um, this is a real story, but I'm hearing it's dead. So I was with a group of people once and they were retelling a story to me about something that happened earlier in the day. It was 11-11 when I started this story. And they were telling me how they asked this elder man, they were like, they were talking to him. They were like, yo, like where the hoes at? Like, where your girls at? Where your joints at? And he was like, they're dead. <laughs> and obviously no one expected him to say that, but he is an elder. So he was talking about like the women of his past have like moved on. They had transitioned. And I feel like this old relationship, look at in the ghost tarot, like, it's like literally you giving to someone who doesn't give you any life. So because they're not, they're no longer a reflection to you of your liveliness, they're dead. But I kind of feel like this dead energy you have with a person, Scorpio, like, you feel comfortable there because you don't have to say yes ever. Wow, to the person, like you're dead. Like I can rule this, I can do whatever I want. Interesting, temperance card at the bottom. And you've been seeing that as like balance because it's like, well, I have control. I don't have to change with that tower card. Wow. Let's look at this emperor energy. The two of wands came out again. I feel like there's a question on the table as to whether or not you want to continue on a path. Looking at the lover's card, you have the page of cups because I do think there's new opportunity that's right under the tower card, but you would have to work for it. And by new opportunity, your page of cups could be offering yourself an opportunity to be single. But then you would have the sun and Virgo with the eight of pentacles. You would absolutely have to work independently on a practice, on a craft. 
And I feel like right now, the way you have it set up is you could even be like controlling this person's finances. Or you're in control of the finances, clarifying the justice card. The moon card came out. And you're not really quite sure what it's gonna look like. Like, I, that's really all I have to say. 1359, you're not really sure what your karma, what the next chapter looks like. So you rather stay in the dead chapter. Scorpio, I really feel this though. Let me tell you why. Like I'm currently reading the last installment of Harry Potter and it's taking me years to get through it. I'm talking about decades because I don't want, I haven't even watched a movie. I don't want this chapter of Harry Potter to end. And now I know after doing this reading, I have to finish the book. Like, cause I'm into moving forward. Like I'm not gonna stay with anything dead, but that's just me. But like I'm struggling with getting through the chapters because at least I know Harry is alive. Like I'm terrified, low key. And I feel like you're feeling that same way about the possibilities of your doing, of you creating this collapse, of you either becoming single or actually partnering with a boss or being a boss for a woman. But once you make that choice, you have the four of swords, which is about resting no longer having concerns of your heart but allowing your heart to rest so your heart doesn't even have to like wonder like being secure with a partner look at this and investing there i'm about to clarify this high priestess and what you've known or what the akashic records have said look at this person it's like oh my love it's something like that. Like, clarifying the high priestess, you have the ace of wands. There's inspiration from whatever you may have received in a dream or whatever someone was like putting you on with. I'm here in the Gemini reading. Gemini's on the table twice, the magician and the lover's card. But I'm here in that Gemini reading. Maybe someone was like, like put some birdies in your ear. And you're like, I should listen to them or I know it's true with that high priestess card. Clarifying the high priestess and the ace of wands, you got the four of pentacles. Like, and now this information is so precious to you. I almost crossed my arms. Sun and Capricorn. It's like, you know you have to act on it, kind of. Clarifying the magician, you have the knight of swords. You know you have to move quickly to act on this. But I really feel like your ego with the five of swords clarified by the five of wands, your ego is you up. It's beating the hell out of you. Like, should I leave this marriage that I've been in? When I don't even know what's to come once I create this change. And I know I'm definitely gonna have to work and I've been a bit relaxed with this dead person because I don't have to work on dead energy. 17, 11, one and seven is eight, nine, 10. If that doesn't say that something is ending. Clarifying the lovers, six of wands. Go ahead and trust your spirit guides. Hop in the boat and rock the boat, rock the boat. Ten of Wands at the bottom, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands. You could be into something with like a fiery energy, like someone who's like super sexual or passionate or, or the fire is gone. We're going to switch decks. Let's get out of here. Let's see what this other deck has to talk about. Maybe it'll be a continuation of that story. Maybe it's something completely brand new. Let's see what happens. The world card. The sun card. Ooh, yes to happiness. The ten of pentacles. 
Scorpion Jealous, the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, you need to say yes to whatever makes you happy. With this Aquarius energy, I'm doing their reading next. I just finished the Leo energy with the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I mean, do you want to be satisfied? Do you want to have money? Like, and land, and a family, and a legacy? Happiness? This is the card that represents all the fixed signs. So there's Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy in the world card. This second reading is a vibe, 1928. 10, 12, 20. Oh, yeah, it's a vibe. It's all. I just drew a two on the screen. It's empathetic. It feels good. It allows you to... Okay, you saying yes to what makes you happy, Scorpio, allows you to tap into your empathy. And when you tap into your empathy here on Earth, you're an ultimate navigator. The world card with the... Ten of Swords, like, it'll pain you to not say yes. The Sun card with the Five of Pentacles, wow. So, like, the, the clarifying cards are completely opposite energy so far. I feel like whatever you say yes to will feel painful, but you can ask for help, like... Scorpio, you may have to like revisit your spirituality, revamp it, like make sure it's coming from a positive place. Make sure you're humble enough to ask for help. That's the second time the Five of Pentacles came out. The Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles. Ladies, my Mercedes. You can have a baller, not only a boss, but like a man that can provide this landed family. And for the Scorpio men, you become this, like after the Five of Pentacles. So once you go inside this church and you ask for help, once you tend to the uh, to the messages you got from your dream, once you read through your Akashic records and take some time to look at your past, once you look at yourself with the Two of Cups card from the last spread, you become this boss. Clarifying the Ten of Cups, you have the Eight of Cups, but it requires you moving on. Overarching energy, the Queen of Wands. She's back. Look at this fiery energy. Ruled by Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Specifically Leo, though. Clarifying the Queen of Wands, the Justice. Ooh. Clarifying the, the Seven of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Six of Pentacles is back. In the other deck, it was like dead energy. But look. It's like you giving more to one side than another side, so the scales are off, right? But here are the scales, again, in this Justice card. Like, it's fair for you to have reciprocity between you and another. So if you're in a relationship, this was what I mean with the dead energy, where you're giving more or you're getting more than the other person is getting. And not in an equal way. I really mean that. I'm not even talking about money. If you're just giving more. It's going to always make you feel like you need to like be looking somewhere else. Or maybe even stepping out with the Page of Swords. Like creeping on other people's like energies. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Ugh. I really felt that one in my chest. I feel like that's it. Like, because you might possibly be experiencing something that's unfair, you're like creeping on someone else's energy. Gross. Gross. Ugh. 
or this is happening to you, like someone's in an unfair situation because of that, they're looking at you like, and you're over here just like studying and <laughs> being a student of life and being youthful. And this person's like, yeah. Oh, what reading was that? Well, I picked up this energy already. Like, yeah. Like someone knows that this is unfair to another person and they're still like, I'm trying to do it anyway. Someone knows it's unfair. Cut it out. Or someone needs to cut it out with you, two of swords, and they're trying to pretend like they're not getting the download from the universe. The Akashic Records already told them. Remember that high priestess almost slapped the hell out of me. Someone was already forewarned that it could get real serious, real fast. Eight of Wands in reverse. I don't have no reverse cards in this deck, but that's a reverse. And then the messages will not come in, but with the Ace of Swords, that's what you want to see. Like, you want to have, you had clarity about the fact that things will cut, stop moving. Or someone else did with you. 25, 13, when I said that, 2, 5, 7, 8, 3, 11. Let's pause right there. 11 is the connection to Christ consciousness. So I feel like because something is unfair, and we're going to get back to that happiness again, because you need to say yes to what makes you happy. You need to say yes to what makes you feel satisfied and fulfilled with the Ten of Cups and what is good for your pockets with that Ten of Pentacles, but not just your current pockets, the pockets of your legacies to come. And that kind of wealth comes with being ethical. Ooh. And I feel like you got a clear message from spirit that you need to move with fairness, which means that you need to say yes, even though it's about to cause you a bit of pain. And once you feel that pain, you need to go ahead and ask for help maybe Leo season, head towards the church, revisit how you're using spirituality. It's getting deep. Revisit how you're using your manifestations. You should not be using it to creep on others or sneak on others or someone is doing this to you. And they need significant change. Clarifying the King of Pentacles with the Empress. Listen. Your money comes. This is this is an awesome match. But I will say the man is in a lower position than the woman. She's the Empress. He's the King of Pentacles. Okay, listen, for the females, I feel like a man has to leave a situation where he's possibly been like the toxic partner to another woman, but he knows he can't pull that mess with you. But in order for him to leave because he's been toxic, it's something like she might have like her foot on his neck where she's like, oh, okay, you trying to leave? Oh, okay. And might make this man's life in actual hell. She might actually force him to be Hades. So although he's been in a, although he's been in like a position of power, he's in a position of power in his own hell that he created, man. All of this, is left up to free will. Like all of it relies on free will. So someone has to say yes. And that yes is going to cause pain. And because they feel a bit of pain, it's gonna force them onto a spiritual track. And then that's gonna cause happiness. And then that brings wealth. But all of this comes from them leaving a situation. 
death card there's your energy again because something has to end let's look at this pain I feel like whoever has to leave, whether it's you or the other person, like you could have even been like committing crimes. Like even if it's, even if it's spirit, I almost spoke in tongues. Y'all heard it? I almost hit my Slytherin just now. Even if it's like spiritual crimes where like someone was, let me see, the emperor card came out again. Page of Pentacles, yeah, like there's an opportunity to boss up or go with a boss. But I feel like someone could have even been like having nasty words around someone, over someone. <sighs> mm, I don't even want to say this. Your reading is getting weird. But I feel like someone could have been saying things over you while you were sleeping. Or someone was doing that at night while you were sleeping. We're going to clarify this pain. That's really why I wanted to go Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's going to hurt your pockets. But say yes to this change. Because this energy you need to get away from. Like This energy you need to get away from. And you need to cho choose to be your happiest. That's just it. <laughs> It was 3015 when I said that. That's the nine energy. You need to just choose your happiness. I read the nine numerology to, um, I think maybe Leo. I'll read it to you too. Nine numerology, meaning it symbolizes the idea of completion, though not necessarily finality. Instead, it signifies the conclusion of one phase. That's what I was talking about, about the chapter. Paving the way for the initiation of the next, right? Here's the nine energy. It was nine on the clock, nine of cups, four of cups, but you... Scorpio, don't blow it. Like, honestly, don't snooze and miss the moment. You need to say yes even though this is about to cause significant change in your life, the next chapter is filled with happiness. Last card out, the star card. That's all I did. And it fulfills your biggest dream. And you may be creating the best relationship of your life, even if it's with you. <laughs> Bye, Scorpio.